everybody! Once again, we're here at the Clark County Humane Society. Our kitty of the week is Adelia. Adelia is a very pretty, dilute calico cat who's about two and a half to three years old. She's been here at the shelter since January of 2011. So we'd like her to get a little bit of attention to see if we can finally find her that home that she's looking for. Idelia is a chubby little girl. A lot of people visit and they think she looks pregnant, but she is definitely spayed, so she's not. <laughs> but she likes to eat her food. Idelia is very affectionate when she's on her high perch and likes to be pet. However, she doesn't like to be carried all that much. But you can definitely scratch her and brush her all you'd like, and she's quite happy. She'll roll around. Sometimes she even acts a little bit like a dog and will want her belly rubbed. But as long as you don't pick her up, she's going to stay right where she is. She is spayed, like I said, up to date on all her shots, and microchipped. She is great with other cats, so if you have other kitties in your home, Idelia would be a good fit for you. She can be a little shy, so if kids come in running and are loud, she tends to just go and hide in a corner. So a quiet home would also be nice for her. However, if your kids are respectable to her, and not too active and crazy, then she'd probably do fine in your home too. Teenagers, she'd be great with, not a problem at all. So like, here she's showing off a little bit. She's going to really get into this. Uh, here in Kitty City, they have to share the attention. So anytime they get a little more one-on-one, -on -one, they're going to be happy. So this is what Adelia is like. If you come to meet her and she appears a little shy or standoffish, it's because she doesn't know you but she'll come around and be just fine. She needs a little time and a little patience with you, and she'll be an absolutely wonderful kitty. <laughs> so if you are interested in applying for Adelia, you can do that online, or you can stop in at the shelter, meet her, and then fill out the paperwork. We hope you like what you see and think that Adelia would be a good fit for you. Hello, everybody. With me this week for our dog of the week is Leo. Leo is one of our special needs pets here at the shelter. He is definitely an older boy. How old, it's hard to say, hard to say for sure, but probably over 10, maybe closer to 12, 13. Uh, we're not quite sure because his teeth were in pretty rough shape. So it's hard to get a really good accurate guess on an age when you're not sure what their background has been. Leo is a sweet, sweet boy. Probably a border collie mix of some kind. Um, he is one of our special needs guys, not only because he's older, but he also has quite a bit of arthritis. So because of that, he is on some medication for pain and will need to be for the rest of his life. Leo is looking for a quiet retirement home. He doesn't like a lot of action and doesn't need it either. He likes to be outside as much as he can, but he definitely needs to be an inside house dog. A fence in backyard would be great where he can just go out, spend a few minutes here and there, maybe lay out in the sun for a while, and then come back into a nice, nice soft spot to sleep. A cold ground is hard on a guy with arthritis, so we really want him to have a warm and comfy spot to take a nap. He gets a special diet here at the shelter, and we give him chicken and rice, and yes, that is human food. Uh, no dog food for Leo, as he's a special boy and that his system handles quite well. He likes to take walks, but it is really quite a meander. We just kind of stroll around. We don't go too fast. Leo gets to sniff where he wants, and that's about it. Then we go back inside, and he's ready to take another nap. As you can see, he's very affectionate. He loves people, loves attention, and just wants to be pet. He is really good with other dogs, especially when they're the calm and mild type. He's got a couple friends here at the shelter, so in the morning and at night when we clean, he gets to spend time in the outside kennel on the grass and the runs with these other dogs. So that's good socialization for Leo. He also probably would be good with cats. There's really no sign of a chase in him, and I'm not sure he could even if he wanted to. He's probably not the type that's going to get away from you outside, but please keep a very, very close eye on him so he can't wander and get into any trouble. We always recommend that animals be on a leash when they go outside, just so you can keep them safe and in your control. Leo would be no different. So even though he moves along at a slow pace, please make sure you keep your eye on him so that nothing can happen. 
<laughs> he's probably unsure what's going on right now because we stopped instead of walking. But like I said, he is just a wonderful, sweet, and handsome boy. He likes to be brushed. And he likes, like I said, all people, all kinds of attention. I can't stress that enough. Uh, one thing about Leo is he is not neutered. Our veterinarian feels that in his shape, it may not be the best of decisions to neuter him. It's hard to say if he'd make it through the anesthetic. So we're just choosing not to do it. That is something you could definitely discuss with your vet. And if they think it's safe to do so, and if you really want it done, then by all means have him neutered but it's not a requirement from us at this point. We just want him to have a happy and healthy home where he can live out the last maybe months, maybe years. It's so hard to say with him how much time he has. But we don't want him to, you know, as much as we love the shelter, and we do love it all here very much, the last thing we want is for an old boy to have to spend his remaining days here. So we would really, really like to find him a home soon. So if you know of anybody that would be interested in a senior guy, please pass the word on. You're getting nothing but a sweet dog here. Or if you yourself have the heart and the, the space to put him in, please consider adopting him as well. So this is Leo. Come on down to the Clark County Humane Society and meet him today.